Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy, Kid Savage, back at it again with another Street Beast commentary. Guess what? Boy, done did it. He done cut the hair off, man. I had to. Um, the reason I did it was really, I don't know, man. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I got to a point where after a while, I just wasn't feeling it no more. Or, and I just wanted to have a different kind of style or whatever the case. So... I just told myself, man, either I'm gonna cut it this year or I'm gonna hang on to it, and I ain't even really wait till, give it till the end of what? A little bit after March. Probably like, not March, uh, February. Probably in the beginning or the middle of March is when I decided and I just chopped off. But uh, yeah, man, this the new do. You know, hopefully it'll help with uh, fighting as well. I'm pretty sure it will, because that's a whole lot of weight off my head, and I can be more elusive. But um, that's neither here nor there. Today, we have another MMA match. And uh, it's between two of the most charismatic OG Street Beast fighters that I've seen in a while. We got Elm Apache going against Battleborn. Battleborn, he kind of gives... Not Battleborn, Dragonborn, I'm sorry. Dragonborn, he kind of give off this... Um, he kind of remind, remind me of uh, the guy Justin Gaethje just fought. I can't remember his name, but I know it's Fasid or something like that. He kind of remind me of him. So every time when I see him or think about him, like I kind of get that warrior and striker, like nice kicks, all kind of crazy type techniques, real technically sound and very tough. I get that kind of impression when I hear uh, about the Dragonborn. And um, he pretty much live up to it, you know, aside from, you know, the flashy kicks or whatever the case may be. But the times I've seen him, he definitely lives up to the Warrior Mark moniker. That's for sure. Uh, Elm Apache, we also got another guy in him. Whereas, like, this guy is so unassuming, so charismatic that you wouldn't think that he, or you probably would, but you wouldn't expect it. You, you wouldn't think that he could, but you wouldn't expect that he can, he's as good as he is, where... I was talking about Dragonborn throwing the kicks and being nice, good, and not having nice technique. I think Emma Apache is kind of all that and a little bit more because um, I think he might be Indian or something, so you got that Indian warrior spirit or whatever the case. And he seems to like, uh, he seems to kind of excel in these hype kind of situation type of matches or whatever the case because he always bringing the energy, he always bringing the heat. He's, um, I wouldn't say as aggressive, but I would say that he's very willing to be in the fire and willing to throw down. He fought against the, the Lamb, and we already know how much power that guy got. I think he dropped Elmer Patch as, as well in that fight too, but you know, they was able to, I can't remember how that fight ended off, man, that's crazy. I don't know if it was either a draw or a, uh, they had stopped it because of blood, I know for sure. So I think that might be a draw. But um, yeah, man, it was a crazy fight. And now we got, you know, him going against Dragonborn. And I can't remember Dragonborn's fight, but I know the guy that he uh, fought that he ended up winning. I don't know if it was by decision or KO or TKO or something, but he was putting on the show as well, too. So these two guys going in, they are uh, about to get at it. And uh, this should be a good, interesting, exciting fight for the 155, 160 division, if these guys even weigh that. But uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, 165. I, I think it might be 155 or 65. Fighting for the raccoons. Last time before he had that uh, Warriors little, that Spartan Warriors looking uh, mesh around him or whatever. It looked pretty cool. I don't see. He said he got pants now, so maybe somebody said something, but I don't know. I kind of like him with it. Nice kick by El Apache. Look, there we go with the kicks, like I was talking about. Oh, nice kick by Dragonborn. He's showing his little inner physique. This fight has already got the hype to be Street Beast Fight of the Year. And whoa, El Apache almost dropped Dragonborn. Dragonborn better be careful. He got lucky. El Apache took him down. If I was El Apache, I would have kept it standing and tried to like push off of him. I would have landed that shot, tied up with him, pushed off with him, and then kept it striking, tried to get the early finish. But he's doing a good job now. He on top, raining down strikes, advanced in position. And he got some elbows he can land, man. 
Some of them landing and some of them close. Dragon Bone doing a good job of using the over under hook and trying to get out of uh, get out of that dangerous position. I think El Apache is more of a ground guy because it seems like he wanna he wanna be on the ground, but his kicks are good too though. He's very fast paced. Dragon Bone need to slow down. Nice knee. He need to slow down and throw some straight shots. Look at El Apache going for the takedown and he gets it. Yeah, this this right here making me think Emma Patchy may be a uh, striker, I mean a grappler at heart. He's on top, throwing the elbows and going for an arm bar. Man, it looks deep too. Not that deep. Okay, he out of it, he out of it. And look, I think Emma Patchy is going for the sweep that I was talking. Oh no, he went for the submission that I was talking about talking about in my earlier video. Dragonborn was trying to go for a leg, but I think he should have been trying to get up. I don't think he want to be on the ground with Elma Patchy. Elma Patchy got some kind of crucifix position going. And yeah, if Elma Patchy can get his arms free, that could be a real bad position for Dragonborn. He's looking for that elbow though. <laughs> yeah, Elma Patchy was looking for that elbow. He got some good, good grounding pound though. <laughs> And with Patchy open up easy. Kyle going wild. Ooh, nice, nice body uh, straight. Just a little bit off. Dragonborn need to keep his hands up. Nice body shot by Dragonborn though. Up, oh, and Apache changes level, go for the takedown and gets it real easy on Dragonborn. Dragonborn need to work his jujitsu because it seems like he's not really defending the transitions or even submissions attempt. It's like he's trying to strike from one bottom or something. And he need to be more concentrated with just holding him down and trying to get back to his feet. Then with Patrick go for some kind of modified triangle. He could. He don't really got it because the arm is on the other side. If he can switch his... If he uses his legs to switch, he can make it tight. This submission here is just allowing him to pretty much get back on top with all the constant rolling and, and scrambling. El Apache throwing down heavy grinding pound. Yeah, man, El Apache. He came back with a vengeance this one, man. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm the ref, I'm getting close to stopping this. El Apache going for it again, the arm bar. It seems like that's what he want. I mean, he might have it. Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie. Elma Patchy is getting real close to finishing. He got the he got the elbow near the crotch area where you kinda wanna have it. And it like he had his thumb up. So I mean, that's as tight as it can get. Oh, oh. That elbow. Slow uptake on the ref. No way touching the mic instead. Yeah, dang boy. Yeah. That elbow was man. I'm glad he caught himself today, but that, man, that elbow would have been bad. You don't see, boy, you know they would have. He disqualified his ass, probably. Touch of the gloves before the last round, man. It's getting crazy. I don't know who uh, went in the fight. I would say Elder Patrick got the first and second. I think his uh, grappling was uh, dominating. Ooh, nice little school, court school uppercut by Elder Patrick. He got some striking, but it seemed like he wanted to grapple with uh, Dragon Boy. He got him in the clinch. And he's bringing some strikes, man. Um, Apache is relentless. 155 from 65 division, man. It's crazy. All these warriors, all these potential stars, all these really good fighters, man. I mean, if you really think about it, man. It's a lot of potential star powers and street beats in uh, 155. 65, I can guarantee you that. You got fighters like him, Elma Patchy, the Lamb, even Dragonborn. Even though he getting dominated, man, still. He has some good moments in the stand-up. Elma Patchy, though, he just he just aggressive with these takedowns and as soon as he get his opponent down, he's going for one or two things, the elbow or the arm bar. Throwing elbows, but the way he got Dragonborn's arm is like he want to go for arm bar, but he might got a tomorrow going for it again, or arm bar again. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say he got him that time. I'm not gonna lie, that one looked deeper than all the other ones, and that one there is like a more elevated arm bar in a sense. He 
just sitting on him and he got his arm and he just busting his hip for it and pulled him back. Like, whoop. Back against the cage and everything. So he had to modify that one and do like a, a sitting arm bar scene. Like, it was a damn good fight by both guys, man. Y'all guys put on the show. Exhausted. I'm pretty sure I'm a patching. It's especially exhausted. Jesus! What the? Oh my God! Oh, I felt that. I don't know how my eyes look at. Is it pretty? Cameraman, yes or no? It is. Thank you. Um, I hope to avenge every raccoon that's ever died. What's up with this man and these raccoons? Everyone! Beautiful opponent, great opponent. Look at him. Look at this guy. Yes, Jesus. Oh God. Oh. Oh, no, you get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good fight, man. It's a damn good fight. I seen, I seen they say that fight got potential uh, fight of the year. Hey, man, shoot, we never know. So far, so good how it's looking. I mean, that fight there was a banger. We had it all. We had a good display of like striking, grappling, uh, wrestling, and jujitsu. I'm Apache, man. Like, this guy is becoming a problem. He fights a lot. He's starting to get better and better after each fight. And, like, he don't really let a loss, like, take him down or anything. Like, his mental game, it seemed like it's, like it's A1. Yeah. I can't really say too much anything he did bad or anything that's, like, that I picked up of, of a note. I just noticed that Elma Apache, man, like, he might be that guy that can blend up his striking good enough to where he can implement his uh, his wrestling. Because um, he might be the grappling wrestler type or whatever the case may be. And if I'm not mistaken, I think on Facebook, I remember, I don't know if he added me or not or if I seen his profile, but I think he had on like a, uh, like one of those, uh, not a wrestling outfit, but like one of those shirts that, that, that most guys are wearing if they doing like nogi, jujitsu or whatever. He had on one of those shirts, and I don't know about the background because it was one of the profile pictures where it's like a circle, and it's like you can only see the face and maybe some of the background. But he might have been at a jiu-jitsu event or whatever, so he might get some uh, good jiu-jitsu. Might be a blue belt, white belt. I don't know. I'm just pointing out skill levels because of street beef, so he might either be a white belt or a blue belt. I, I'll give him either one of those two. But, um, yeah, that's just to say that it seemed like Emma Apache is getting better and better, and he might become the guy that can, like, be able to do just about some of everything like he might be dangerous on the stand-up because his kicks are good his striking is good like I, I think his uh striking could probably do better but I mean for street beats I mean it seems pretty good to me and um his wrestling take his uh his takedown especially his level changes he get real low go for the legs and take you off your feet and then there he looks for the elbows try to get you in the arm bar and finish the fight so I think now with Elma Apache having that fight, I can kind of like almost categorize him in the next time going because I'm pretty sure we'll see him again, the kind of fighter he is. As for Battleborn, he had a tough break on this one, man. Like, he landed some decent shots, man. I remember it was a body kick he threw. And then I remember Elma Apache was trying to go for a head kick after a succession of a, 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 a body kick, and I think it was a teeth kick, and he tried to go for a head kick off that. Battleborn was able to use nice fight IQ to pretty much stifle that with a teeth. And he put Emma Patchy on his butt. But um, so far as his ground game go, I think he need to work on his jiu-jitsu, work on his uh, wrestling as well, try to get better with his stand-up, spar a little bit, hit the bag or whatever the case, and really work on that jiu-jitsu, that defensive jiu-jitsu, man. Because um, I think that's key in street beef. That may be the thing that may decide whether you win or lose in a lot of fights. Because if it's MMA especially, you know, you, the fight is nine times out of ten going to end up going to the ground, provided you're going to get somebody who favors that. So that's always something you got to practice and watch out and make sure you learn to, you know, get better at or whatever the case. But other than that, man, Battleborn and Elma Apache, potential fight of the year. I mean, I ain't going to lie, man. These guys, they put on the show so I can see it. But um, great job to both guys. Hell of a fight, man. And uh, hope to see more from both. But um, this has been your boy. Kid Savage back at it again with another Street Beast commentary. Peace. Oh,